Hi, I'm Robert Estrin. This is livingpianos.com presenting one of my favorite pianos, Mason & Hamlin. Made when Mason & Hamlin was an independent company in 1915. Some people refer to these as the pre-Aeolian period because Mason & Hamlin, along with about a half a dozen other piano companies, were gobbled up during the Great Depression by the Aeolian Piano Company. These early Mason and Hamlins have such a rich tone. I'm gonna tell you more about this piano with a magnificent restoration job we did with it. And first, let's have music. I'm gonna play, start off for you, playing the beginning of Opus 28, Beethoven's Pastoral Sonata. I'll play the exposition of the first movement. Great Sonata, right smack in the middle, the very last one in book one of his 32 monumental works, the Sonatas of Beethoven. So this piano has been rebuilt with new strings, new pin block, damper felt, tuning pins. The action has also been rebuilt. A lot of times people say rebuilt, but are they talking about the back action? This has a new Renner back action, new obel hammers, new whippins, repetitions. The work, so the piano really plays like it was when it was new. And to show you the expressive possibilities of how it opens up, this is what I love about Mason Hamlin pianos. You can put tremendous energy and still get a warm, never a brass sound. Listen, sailing into uh, Chopin's military polonaise, just the beginning, and you could hear with that power, the richness of the tone.
real joy to play. And once again, the design elements of Mason Hammond pianos, larger soundboards that are found in similar sized pianos because of the wide tail. Many design elements make these pianos last longer than other pianos because of the robustness of the design, including their patented tension resonator system, metal bracing further supporting this massive structure. So let's listen to just a little bit of subtle music, the beautiful opening theme from the second movement of Beethoven, once again revisiting Beethoven, his uh, Pathetique Sonata. It's hard to believe you're listening to a five foot eight inch long grand piano. Because of the richness of the tone, the fullness of the bass, the evenness of the scale design. I'm interested in your opinion of this piano and welcome other piano questions here at livingpianos.com, your online piano resource. Thanks you all you subscribers out there. There's many of you and I'm grateful to you. We'll see you next time here on livingpianos.com. I'm Robert Estrin.